Hey, have you ever wasted your time doing anything or you have, have you, have you ever done something and then you've thought, I think I just did the wrong thing or I disappointed somebody. And, and how about with God? Like you ever feel like you've done something and think that you're doing what God wants. And then you realize I've totally been doing what God doesn't want. And it may not be an immoral thing, but you're just doing the wrong thing. So here's a quick scripture out of Psalm chapter 90, and there's a reason I'm sitting in my car for this. It'll make sense in a minute. Uh, but Psalm, cha Psalm chapter 90 and verse 17 says, May the favor of the Lord our God rest upon us. And that's what we want, right? We want his favor. It says, May he establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. And what we're really looking for a lot is the favor of God. So when I was a kid... My dad had a couple junk cars, and they were parked out back along a fence row in a backfield. They didn't run. They were just pieces of trash. They were, they were junk. The next stop for them was the junkyard. So I ran into a guy in high school who uh, we were talking, and he said, Man, I got this old Chevelle, but I, I, need some, I need some gears for a rear end, and I can't find any. And I said, Dude, we've got one of those in our backfield that doesn't run. I'll sell you the gears out of the back of that car. And then what I was going to do is take that money to my dad as a surprise and say, Boom, I made you some money on a junk car. So my buddy came down, ripped the gears out of the rear end, and I took the money, and I walked in, and I gave it to my dad. So I remember I walked in the house, and I said, I said Hey, here's a... Here's some money. And he said, what's this for? I said, I sold some parts. I sold the gears out of the back of that old Chevy that's, that's out along the fence row. And I knew that I was going to find favor with him. And he just looked at me and said, how am I supposed to get the car out of there now? And I was disappointed because I hadn't thought about that. But I was more disappointed because I didn't have his favor. I expected that I was going to get his favor for that. As a surprise, he was going to get money and I was going to get his favor. But it wasn't my dad's fault. It was my fault because I didn't ask. I, I was looking for the favor of his, for his favor, but I didn't ask. He didn't establish the work of my hands. I just guessed and I guessed wrong. So before we go out and we do things for God, the best thing that we can do is, is make sure that he is establishing the work. It's his work that he's establishing for us. It's what he wants to do. So today, may you find great favor from God because you are doing the work that he's established for your hand and not the work that you've established.